Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for Mare Nostrum, going for the Mare Nostrum achievement as Austria. And we're getting much closer. Now it's time for our next war against the Ottomans. And I'll just move my armies south before we start the war. Also I might invade Scotland, I'll just leave these armies here for now. Did I add it all to the Empire? I did. I could release a vassal or two. Well, actually, why not? I could. I think I only need London. And possibly something else to form Rome. Yorkshire, maybe? I think Yorkshire. Uh, I'll check that before releasing another vassal. I don't want to, you know, screw myself over. Um, let's continue. I do have lots of armies near the Ottomans, and I probably won't be micromanaging them too much, as the case is usually. How do I still have Call for Peace? Maybe it will go away by the end of the month. Hope the game doesn't... Okay, it went away. Cass's belly, yeah. No longer valid. Muscovy, can you please become Habsburg? Please, please, please. I guess I could send them a gift just to make them like me more. Seriously, I have your cores. That's not something I want to, to happen. Where do I have your cores? Oh, maybe down south. No. Oh, here's a Muscovit core. Won't it expire? It will, but in a very long time. Well, that is unfortunate. I do want to stay friends with Muscovy as, as long as possible. I think I might call them into the war with the Ottomans, if, if they would accept that. Just to make sure we're friendlier. Increase our control of the spice. Yeah, the navigators need to, you know, eat. Uh, right, Muscovy, Haiti, and Poland. Poland has no air, and they have a Habsburg. Succession war between Austria and Scandinavia. I would love that. Now, Poland is much weaker since I took a lot of their land, but that would also be quite useful if we had them. So, come on, Poland, let's get into that war. We are Habsburgs, after all. The coast has been raided. Okay, our armies are getting in position. And um, I think we did give enough time for our subjects to recover from the last war. Now what I could do is increase my military tech. However, that would put me at an unbalanced position with respect to my diplomatic technology. So I really don't think I want to do that. I could use the military points I have for something else. Hmm... How can I increase their loyalty? Hmm, they gain influence. Lose prestige. Sure, let's gain some influence. Let's call it diet. And conversions. Oh, well, that's the one I can't call. Let's not do that. Tensions between nobles and the clergy. Mm. Clergy loses loyalty, I'm fine with that. Screw them. So, how long until these are caught? Quite a long time. Mm. I could fight another war in the meantime. I think I will. Let's do it. Oh crap, my claim expired. Mm. God damn it. Okay, I need to fabricate it again. I'll build a spy network. That is unfortunate. I, I didn't think it would expire that quickly. Let's spread you out a little bit. Okay, how quickly is the spy network being built? Not quickly at all. It's being built very slowly. Oh, I can get some claims on you, though. Um, I do want that place and that place. It seems I already have claims here. Well, I'll just get some more claims. Why wouldn't I? So, how long until I can fabricate? 20 is what I need. Free stability or prestige? My stability is plus 2, so I'm, of course, going to take stability. 
Uh, do I want to increase my legitimacy? My legitimacy is pretty good. Diplomatic reputation is good as well, although it can never hurt to have more. I could get more taxes, but the money is not a problem. Let's get mercantilism and, legit uh, and diplorep. How is your ruler? Still no uh, good. Uh, Scandinavia mm, hates me and will always hate me. Poland still gets a succession war if your king dies. And you are 51 years old, so this is quite probable. Also, if it's a succession war with Scandinavia in it, I can sign a peace deal with them and and get some more stuff from that. Oh, Scandinavia is pushing Muscovy back. I never expected that to happen. So, yeah, I do need to fabricate a claim on you faster. And we have capped on military power. Now, this is a problem because I could go and increase my military tech. Then again, that would be a problem. Oh, what I could do is get the next idea group and then choose a military idea group. What I would really like to do is get exploration, but that costs diplo points and we don't have a lot of diplo points. So we could, you know, colonize, use this money that we have tons of. I think I want to go exploration. So we can, yeah, we need to make use of that money. Uh, I guess I'll just have to increase development somewhere. I did have several provinces in which I did that. Plantations, marketplace, workshop, barracks. Sure, let's do it here. And upgrade that. Steinmark. Um, that could work. Marketplace. Let's spend some military power here and get a... Not a barracks, but a training field. I should probably build it in provinces belong to, belonging to the nobility. That would give me much more of a return. So we did use up the power. So that's good. Get some more manpower. Not that we need it, really. Muscovy in Poland. In succession crises. Come on, Muscovy. Become my subject. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, let's increase the speed. They're in vain, they're, fight, they're fighting Mamluks in Morocco. Oh, for this province here. Hmm, interesting. Still no Castus Belly. I could just invade them without the Castus Belly, but we're already increasing the spy network thing, so it's not gonna take much longer. Just a few months. I forgot that my claim expired. That's a little bit unfortunate. How's the overextension? Um, it's fine. Heidi, do you still have disputed succession? No, no longer. Never mind then. We fabricated some claims. No, we have had some claims fabricated on us. Moscow and Poland still. Poland hates me a lot. But it doesn't matter. We can still get the union. Uh, spy network strength, 15%. Uh, I wish I could increase the spy. I would have to hire a spy master advisor for that to happen, though. He's only a level 2. Forget it, then. First cores are coming in. Seventeen point six. Two more months. All yeah, right. The cores are here, and that means I can core the last remaining province, which is this one here. And also, I can actually release some vassals that will be imperial vassals, like Livonia. So let's add this to the empire. Add this to the empire. Oh, I can't. All oh, right, it needs to be adjacent. I first need to add this. And now can I, I can add this. So we can have three more Imperial vassals, thanks to that. Uh, soon, also, Polsk. So, let's release some vassals. And it's gonna be... Not France. Let's not make that mistake, it would be silly. Uh, not Normandy, no, no, no. 
Oh, Western Isles, I could do that, just in a second. Mogiliev, no. Livonia. One. Next. Uh, Novgorod. And Finland. That would do it. And uh, how about the Western Isles? That's which ones are those? These here? Or these here? Shetland. Here are the Western Isles, but I cannot add them to the Empire, unfortunately. I would need to take over Scotland first, so that's not gonna happen. Let's continue playing then. And we're ready to fight the Ottomans. Also, Poland has some rebels. Still no legal heir. Muscovy, still no legal heir. Alright then. Let's get the claim against... What's that? Finland wants royal marriage. No, thank you. Uh, fabricate a claim. I'll take Constantinople. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, right. It needs to update. Malacca. Uh, I really don't care. Should I call in Muscovy? That would increase our relations a little bit, but... No, I don't think I want to do that. I can always call them in a little bit later. So, you here, you here, you... I guess you can go to Ankara and one gate there. You take care of the straits. You should probably not get involved because they have a much larger army in the area, so let's just retreat you a little bit. And you guys will take care of business in the north. And my subjects will do most of the work, as always. Let's make sure that we don't get sniped somewhere in here. Alright, one province taken. Let's go to Hamid. Oh, they took it down, and that was quick. I mean, it's not going to help them much. Let's get you guys to Trebizond. Let's get you guys... Oh, if I take over the area here, then I can let Muscovy in on the war. Let's do that. Okay, they're moving a large army in my direction. I should probably retreat a little bit, at least until the subjects come, although they are on their way. Let's retreat a little bit. Until they can back us up. And they are about to. Which will take care of all our problems. Okay, let's move you forward a little bit now that we have the support. Okay, let's see the successions, still going. They could be a threat, but the subjects are chasing them now, so it's gonna be fine. Good harvest, treasury or admin power? Uh, admin power. Another siege is over. Mm, I guess I'll support those guys and then move to a fort. About here, sieging, 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 sieging. All is as it should be, and now this army can return because they have left the area. So you go and take care of uh, Asyut. Oops. Oh no, I misread it, of course. Uh, we're on the winning side. A well, revolt in Thuringia. And we have won the Siege of Constantinople, which makes me able to move this army elsewhere. Um, should I just take over non-fought provinces? Uh, I don't think so. Let's take Adana over again, or maybe Damascus. Let's go to Damascus. Hamid has been taken over, so I can move this army further. Oh, crap, these guys are in trouble. I thought they went south, now we're gonna lose this army. Run, run. We were defending, and we had a good chance of winning, but they did have a much better army, a much bigger army. So I prefer to safeguard these these guys. They, we might have won, but probably not. Uh, 
Once we take over this area here, I can call in Muscovy, because they won't be interested in anything from that area. Or rather, from the areas that are not this area. Um, all right. You guys should move on and take care of the fort that we just were booted out from. No, Sir Cassia, you can't have military access. Oh, Muscovy is no longer at war. What did you take? Oh, quite a lot, actually. And you got an air uh, crap. Poland. Succession war. Well, I will have to fight Muscovy at some point if I don't just take them over. So it's not good that they're becoming so much more powerful. What's that? Separatists? No, I can't allow that. Uh, which army should I delegate to deal with them? Well, one of those guys, when they're done with their sieging... Oh, you're done with your sieging, aren't you? You're moving towards Damascus. Ah, you can just take care of the rebels for me. It'll take them some time. Although, you guys are almost done, so I could... I'll speed the siege up and I'll use them for this purpose. Also, you guys should really merge. Yeah, Muscovy is going to be my... well, not next, but soon they will be my target. And we will overrun them, which is unfortunate, because I... See, just Trebizond, sure. Which is unfortunate, but I, because I was hoping for a personal union. Very, very much hoping for it. Though we are at a stage that we don't need anyone. Revolt. Hmm, doesn't matter. Let's get you guys down here. Aden, Burgess, and Urbino. A revolt. Ah, oh, they can take care of that. And even if the Pretender takes over, it doesn't make a difference for me. To me. Siege of Macedonia. Okay, good. So now I can delegate this army to dealing with Kievian rebels. Because those are separatists. We don't want any separatists. Robert de Chambly. Okay, that's an advisor. Uh, prestige. I have lots of both, but... Hmm, I guess I could just... Break my, my alliance with Muscovy. Maybe it's time. I think it might be time to break the alliance with Muscovy. If I dissolve this alliance during a war... Oh no, it won't cost me stability. Hmm. Because I thought it would, then I would just, you know... Regain it. I would like to postpone the war with Muscovy as long as possible. We will have to take them over at some point. We're nearing the creation of our empire now. We just need a little bit over here, another war with the Ottomans, and then to take over some of Morocco, then we will be creating an empire. And of course, uh, the Pope. Uh, I guess I'll take the prestige. Can convert some provinces. Great, let's do that. Okay, some sieges have been completed. Let's make sure that we move our army so they're not wasted. Commandant Wilhelm Schuder. I'm going to let people sample new religions. We don't care what they do. And... We don't need more military power, but I do like having high level guys because you can get those events like we just did for free stability and so on. Um, what do we want? Actually, lead maintenance is nice, but let's just take a level 3, just because he's a level 3. Although, you know what? I'm going to fire all those level 1s and see if we can get anyone better. And level 2 as well. And uh, nope. Let's take him then, because he's level 3. I've discovered an agent. Meh. Not a problem. Oh, here you go. The same event again. Almost the same one. That's from the, the guy that we just hired. Well, sure, I can get more prestige. Alright, you guys. Actually, you guys need to be merged. 
and all three of your armies will go down south. And also you. Now the Ottomans should be ready to surrender any minute now. Now there's also Malacca in the war, but it really doesn't matter. City of Aswan. Trust your neighbor. Free stability. <laughs> it's like uh, some and other consecutive stability that we're gaining for free. Really shouldn't have bought it for the papal points. Should have bought some more mercantilism. Not that it matters anymore. Siege of Mosul is over. Okay, are you actually ready to surrender to me, Ottomans? So what I want is... Wait a minute, let me see the region borders. I wanted that. That I don't really care about. Uh, right, um, Ottomans. Super piece, clear offer. I wanted these. And the Mashrik region, which is the green bits. So... All of these things. And that's too much overextension, again. It's a pity, but I do need to control it directly. I could go with over overextension. Doesn't seem like a very good idea, but I could. Uh, let's just make sure we get to 100%, or almost 100%. Um, have I have I finished scoring the other bit? Almost. Let's wait for that to finish. Okay, we've gained a core province. That's nice. And now I can sign a deal. So that is 98.4. Can I get it to 100 exactly? That's exactly 100. Yeah, I think that's the best we can get right now. Hopefully by the time we fight them again, we'll get administrative efficiency. And we can take more. Um, I could cancel your alliances, but I do. Do I really care? No. I prefer having a shorter truce, so let's not take anything else from them. That's still a 12-year truce, but that's better than a 15-year truce. Uh, right, give me stuff. Time to core. 100% overextension. And autonomy. Yeah, I know I'm not adding new states, even though I could be. Maybe I should, but it doesn't really matter, since I don't want to spend admin power on coring them, so it really won't make a difference if it is a state or not. Okay, autonomy has been increased. We can go on. So should I conquer the rest of Morocco and Jerid now, or should I turn against Muscovy? Let's take care of the Kievan rebels. Muscovy, should I turn against you? Also, Poland got an air. Unfortunate, but it didn't, doesn't really change my plans. So the next phase should probably be another attack against Morocco. Mm, don't have a claim anymore, but I do have one on Jared. Breaking truce. I still have a truce with you? Really? How long? 70, oh, September this year. Sure, let's get ready for the war. I mean, it's not gonna. It's not like it's gonna be difficult. They're much smaller than we are. Um, who are you allied again with? Uh, Morocco, and you are allied with uh, the Mamluks, and no one else that really matters to us. So I'm going to uh, leave one unit next to the Mamluks just to take this area. Although they are, they're currently occupied by the Ottomans. So let's forget that. Uh, let's just move everyone here. Also, how do I have access through them? Let's just get you guys in here. Because we're close to forming our Roman Empire. Also, it is probably time to then take the next admin tech, even though that will generate some corruption. Surf exploitation. Oh, cool. Should I go with Diplo Focus? No, no, I shouldn't. Let's take the next admin idea. 
because the next one after that gives us admin efficiency, which is amazingly good. Now, did that give me corruption? No, it didn't. Okay, so we can have it imbalanced by a little bit more. We can have two technologies of a difference, so I'm going to take the military one as well. A diplomat has died that I was not using. And we are beating the rebels, which really isn't a surprise. Okay then. It's almost time to fight Muscovy. My cause is just. Oh, aggressive expansion impact. No longer matters, really. Have this been, has this been caught? Yes, so I can add it to the Empire with all the other provinces. Oh, also, this episode is way too long now. So I am going to just add these provinces to the Empire and release the vassal, because otherwise I might forget. And this is where we will end the episode. Preparing for our next war against Morocco and Jerid. And go here. Did I add this province? Let's just make sure. Yes, I did. Go to the diplomatic mode. Release Vassal. And that will be Portsk when I can find it. Here it is. Okay, one more Vassal for us. And we can feed um, it some territory from Muscovy when we finally fight them, because we will have to finally fight them to get the Circa Circassian coast. Can I threaten war against... Uh, is it even an option? It's not covered. Here it is. Uh, break the alliance first and their subject nation. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Although I could threaten war against Muscovy if we broke the alliance first. They might be afraid enough to just give it to us, although fighting them would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be fun. Could just expand everywhere. Alright, uh, time to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.